Elementary Math Project is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number two of your assessment paper number 11. Now the next question is something that always comes up in your exams, okay? It's a simple question uh, using models and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at the question. It says Ali, Betty, Vincent and Catherine had some money. Okay, we don't know how much money they have but we had some money. Now Ali had $40 more than Betty. Okay, first of all, before we even do anything, we want to write down the, the names of the people. So Ali, Betty, um, what's the third person? Vincent and Catherine. These are the four people involved. It says that Ali had $40 more than Betty. So what should be in your head? You should see something that looks a bit like this. See, uh, Ali had $40. So which means that it will look a bit like this this. Ali has $40 more than Betty. So therefore, he should have more. And this little thing is called, and this little thing is $40. Okay, you got that part, right? Very simple. Next part, it says, um, Vincent had twice as much money as Betty. So let's take a look at how much Betty has. Betty has one unit. So if it's twice, what does twice mean? Twice means two, two times. So we take the same, uh, the same model, I mean the same uh, unit, and we take two times of it. So we have two boxes or two units for Vincent. Okay, and finally it says that Catherine had $120 less than Ali. Okay, Catherine had $120 less than Ali. Okay, this is a little tricky. This is where I need you to really pay attention, right? Okay, so if Ali has this much and Catherine has $120 less, it means that Okay, she has, okay, this is already $40, remember? This is already $40. From here to here is already $40. Okay, and Catherine is, 40, is $120 less. Is $40 enough? No. How much more do we need to go? How much more do we need to minus? So you take $120 minus $40 and then you will get $80. That means... She is still short of $80 after that. So we put there $80. And then of course, we have the remaining part of the model, which actually is Catherine. So from here to here only is Catherine. Now you get it? Okay, and then they told us that the, the, the key, the key is if Catherine had $200, which means that if this is the unit is actually $200, Okay, the question they want you to find out, the answer you want to find out is actually how much did Vincent have? So how much is two units? That's what they're asking you uh, effectively. Lah, okay, so how do you know? How do you know what is one unit, what is two units? Okay, remember, take a look here. This Ali is also one unit, right? Uh, and in between, as you can see, if you were to draw this line out, if you add these two together, you will get what? One unit. So therefore, simple, we just take 200, plus $80, and that equals to $280. And what is that equals to? One unit. And if one unit is equal to $280, uh, and Vincent has two units, how do you find Vincent's answer? Vincent has two units. So we just find two units. Lah. So two units is equal to 280 times 2. And so the answer is $560. Bam! Okay? So if you got the answer right, I'm going to give you a big high five because you are a math prodigy. Good job. And that's it. That's all there is to the discussion. Very, very simple stuff. You just have to understand. You just have to see this and then draw it out. Very simple. All right. So that brings me to the quote of the week. And the quote of the week is just because the goalkeeper is standing in front of you, it doesn't mean you can't score. Okay. Again, what does that mean? That means that if a goalkeeper or someone or something is standing in your way from achieving success, in this case, achieving an A or a B or whatever you want right now, right? don't let it hold you back. Okay, Don't let it hold you back. You can score. You will definitely score. Trust me, you just have to find a way. And I have a way for you, and that is to do these questions every single day and understand how to do it. All right? So with that, this is Coach Saifu signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.